Hello friends, this is your host, and you're watching this channel. Today we are going to learn about the 10th letter of the English alphabet. That's right, we're going to learn about G and H, but wait, there's a twist. We'll learn about them through science. Are you ready? Let's begin. G is for gravity. The invisible force that pulls everything down. Drop a ball, it falls. Jump in the air, you come back down. That's gravity. Gravity keeps our feet on the ground and holds the moon around the earth. Without gravity, we'd float like astronauts. Now let's check out some cool space facts related to gravity. Our solar system has eight planets, including Earth. All the planets have gravity. The biggest planet, Jupiter, has super strong gravity. If you were to step on Jupiter, you'd be pulled down more than 250 times stronger than Earth's gravity. That's heavy. On the flip side, the smallest planet, Mercury, has weak gravity. If you were to step on Mercury, you'd feel lighter, about 38% less than Earth's gravity. If you could jump high enough on Mercury, you might just keep on floating away from the planet. And here's an interesting fact about the moon. It pulls us toward it, but only about one-sixth as strong as Earth's gravity. That's why astronauts can leap so high on the moon. Now close your eyes and imagine you're an astronaut on the moon. What would you see if you looked up in the sky? Can you guess which planet would be the brightest? Open your eyes and take a look at this picture. That bright dot in the sky is the Earth, since Earth is much bigger than the moon. It reflects more sunlight and appears brighter from the surface of the moon. H is for heat, the energy that makes things warm or hot. The sun gives us heat. When we cook, we use heat. Heat can melt ice, warm our food, or dry clothes in the sun. Be careful, too much heat can burn so always use it safely. Let's do a science experiment to learn more about heat. You will need a glass of water, a clear plastic cup, some ice cubes and a marker. Pour the water into the cup. Add a few ice cubes and place them in the cup. Use a marker to draw a line on the cup just below the water. Now watch what happens over the next few minutes. Whoa, what just happened? As the ice melted, the water level went down. What does this tell us? It tells us that ice takes up more space than water. That's because the water molecules in ice are far apart, but when they melt into liquid form, they get closer together. When heat energy is added to a liquid like water, its temperature rises. Eventually, the molecules move so fast they break their bonds and change state from a liquid to a gas. This is called evaporation. Have you ever noticed that a puddle disappears after a day of sunshine? That's because the heat from the sun evaporated the water. Heat travels in many ways. It can travel through a material by direct contact. For example, if you touch a hot stove, the heat from the stove travels directly into your hand. This type of heat transfer is called conduction. Heat can also travel through empty space by radiation. For example, the heat from the sun reaches Earth by traveling through the vacuum of space. And finally, heat can be transferred by the movement of fluids, both liquids and gases. For example, when water boils, the heat from the stove is transferred to the water by conduction. Then the water molecules move and mix, transferring heat throughout the pot. This is called convection. So remember, G is for gravity and H is for heat. We learned about gravity and how it affects objects on Earth and other planets. And we learned about heat and how it can transfer energy to objects. That's all for today. Subscribe for more fun science videos. Leave a comment below and tell us what you want to learn about next. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.